Now the topic before us is what are commercial banks? Most of us have our saving account with one or other commercial bank. We go to the bank and deposit our money with them. If we are having saving account, then we earn some interest on the same. If we are having a recurring deposit account, where we deposit some fixed amount every month, there the interest is somewhat more than the rec uh, saving account. If we are having fixed deposit account, where a lump sum amount is deposited with the bank for a fixed period, there the amount, uh, interest is somewhat more as compared to saving account and recurring deposit. If we are a shopkeeper or a businessman or ours is an organization, then we may be having current account with the commercial bank where we do not earn any interest. Rather, the banks may charge some service charges from us. So now the question arises, what is the commercial bank? A commercial bank is a financial institution which accepts deposits from the public and gives loans for the purpose of consumption and investment. Today, public deposits their money with the banks. Banks have employed a large number of people. They have to pay electricity bills. They are having a large number of staff where, and they have to incur many many expenses. They have to technologically upgrade their infrastructure. So, they do not keep all the money which we deposit with the banks with them. They further give that money on loan. Though all the money which they receive from us is not given as loan to the borrowers. There are certain guidelines of this central bank in each country where they have to keep some amount of the deposits as reserve and the balance they can give on loan. We will discuss how they are in a position to give loan, how the money is created by commercial banks under the course in a separate course, fractional reserve banking, where we will go in detail how the banks are in a position to give loans to large number of borrowers when the initial deposit is only small. So, when we deposit our amount with the banks, the banks give that amount to borrowers the interest which the banks gives to us on our deposits is less. However, the interest which the bank charges from the borrowers is somewhat more and the difference between the two is the profit of the commercial bank. If we look back 25 or 30 years ago at the banks, then for each and every minor work we used to go to banks such as updation of our passbook sending of certain amount to some other person payment of telephone bills or some other purposes but now there is lot of advancement in technology. Now we are having online banking facility. We can transfer payment to our relatives, friends by sitting at our home when we are having internet connection and facility of internet banking. We can make payment of bills 
we can do online shopping from Amazon, Flipkart or other online sites. We need not to go to bank for all the works. Most of the works we can do, most of the banking works, now we can do by sitting at uh, the comfort of our home. Earlier, the banks had to open branches at different places so that they can serve the maximum public and earn maximum profit. Now, as online banking facility has been provided by the banks and new and te new technology is coming into the field of commercial banks. Now the banks need not open branches at different places. In this way, the banks are also saving a lot. Yes, they do not have to incur expenses on electricity, on opening of a new branch. They do not have to pay rent. They do not have to imply more and more staff. In most of the countries, commercial banks have to obey certain rules and regulations. These rules and regulations are framed by central bank in each country, most of the countries. Why these rules and regulations are there which the commercial banks have to obey? These rules and regulations are there so that the funds which the customers have deposited with the commercial banks are saved and there is stability of the banking system. As already told, if we say deposit rupees 100 with the bank, bank cannot give whole of the amount of 100 rupees as loan to borrower. They have to keep certain amount as reserves. Why this reserve is kept by the banks? Suppose if you have deposited 100 and the bank gives away rupees 100 as loan to other borrower and if you now come to the bank next day and want your money back from where the bank will be able to give. So that is the purpose of reserves so that the banks can be in a position to make the payment of demanded money back which you have demanded from the bank. It is not that Banks have to keep the maximum amount as reserves. Central bank normally fixes the reserve ratio. If there are 100 customers, then in respect of each and every customer, say 10% is kept as reserves. And in this way, a big amount has been kept as reserve and which can be used by the commercial banks to pay to the customers if they come to the bank for withdrawal of their money, whether it is fixed deposit or saving deposit or current account. Commercial banks are playing a crucial role in the modern economy. How? They serve as intermediary between the depositor and the borrower and commercial banks offer a variety of financial products and services. In this way, the banks are playing a very important role in the modern economy. When you will later on understand the functions of the commercial banks, you will really come to know that the role of the commercial banks in the modern economy is very important. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.